the James Webb T Space Telescope is identifying objects in the dark ages that by best measurements we have are large, fully developed galaxies. So who ordered that? The universe hasn't been here forever. When you combine those two facts, you get an edge of the universe. We've all seen some movies on television which raises the question of whether computer games are getting so realistic that these avatars could actually be real. To elaborate, consider the scenario in which we are, the dreamer, and the individual who presses the play button to begin a video game has a dream. The existence of reality itself is therefore determined by cosmic consciousness. And then you begin to wonder, computer games are getting so realistic that maybe these avatars are real. And maybe we, maybe we are avatars. Maybe we are nothing but cosmic digitized figures dancing on somebody's computer screen. What is out there in the cosmos? This question has confounded a lot of people before us and probably will confound a lot of people after us as well. The size of the cosmos is so great that, even with the unobservable portion excluded, astronomers have not been able to estimate its whole circumference. Let's say that this person who hits the play button mm -hmm. starting this video game has a dream. And we are the dream. The limitations of materialism, the notion that humans are nothing more than atoms, are among the many things that ancient philosophers got right. The observable universe, though, is what? The portion of the cosmos that we can see and study with telescopes and other tools is referred to as the observable universe. It is restricted by the finite speed of light, which means we can only directly witness things that are too far away or too long ago from us. The estimated diameter of the observable universe is approximately 93 billion light years, which is significantly bigger than the estimated age of the universe, which is 13.8 billion years. The universe's expansion has forced objects to move farther apart, which has generated a disparity in the time it takes for light from those objects to reach us. In order to explore the cosmos beyond what is currently known, space-time travel mechanisms like wormholes and warp drives are necessary. These ideas are hotly debated and presently unattainable by human technology. The cosmos is at least 10 circumflex 23 times larger than the observable universe, according to the cosmic inflation theory. We are unable to comprehend the vastness of this scale, but we can develop theories based on information from far-off galaxies and other sources, with NASA playing a major part in this investigation. Our knowledge of the cosmos has greatly benefited from the work of NASA and other space agencies. NASA shared images taken with the Hubble telescope of the extremely deep field prior to the James Webb Telescope, JWST, coming into operation. The furthest galaxies ever observed were caught by the JWST at launch, depicting them as they might have appeared a few million years following the Big Bang. The JWST can reveal galaxies that were formed early in the history of the universe since it can detect infrared radiation. Due to observations, a sizable population of early star-forming galaxies has been revealed, some of which date back up to 300 million years after the Big Bang and were previously unknown. For a very long time, people have been curious about our place in the cosmos. The findings of the JWST imply that millions of galaxies may support life in the unobservable region of the universe. The likelihood that there is life elsewhere in the universe is growing stronger. The transit and radial velocity approaches have revealed a large number of exoplanets that may resemble Earth and perhaps harbor life. The presence of water molecules, haze and clouds on the exoplanet WASP-96b as revealed by the JGWST, suggests that the planet may have habitable conditions. The Many Worlds interpretation of the term multiverse alludes to the existence of numerous other universes or realms other than our own. A quantum system may collapse into a single state in quantum physics upon observation, but in the Many Worlds interpretation, 
the system breaks into several states, each of which represents a distinct conclusion. The concept of a multiverse broadens our understanding of the possibilities in the cosmos, even though it is still very theoretical and devoid of solid proof. With the help of telescopes like the JGBOST, we are able to gain further insights into the structure, composition, and history of the vast and intriguing observable universe. We are reminded that there is much more to learn by the notion of extraterrestrial life and the possibility of a multiverse. Verifying the existence of a multiverse is a challenging task. While some philosophers and scientists find the idea intriguing and possibly helpful in understanding some facts, others are unconvinced. The idea that there could be more than one universe is as plausible as Schrodinger's cat since we have no idea what exists outside of the cosmos. Is there a dark flow? The dark flow is a phenomenon that was first postulated in 2008 as an explanation for why, given the known distribution of matter in the universe, some galaxy clusters appear to be moving faster than expected. According to the theory, these galaxy clusters might be pulled in a specific direction by dark or invisible matter or energy. However, there is disagreement within the scientific community over the presence of dark flow. While some investigations have been unable to prove its presence and have instead attributed the apparent motion to systematic measurement mistakes, others have suggested that it might be real and that it could be created by a big, enormous structure in the cosmos. Dark flow could potentially exist outside of the visible cosmos. Is there really a black hole? A black hole is an area of space where light cannot escape due to the intense gravitational pull of the black hole. Black holes, which can have masses ranging from a few times that of the sun to millions or billions of times that of the sun, are created when a star collapses at the conclusion of its life. It is challenging to estimate the likelihood that black holes exist in the unobservable universe. Although the quantity and properties of black holes in the unobservable cosmos cannot be determined with certainty, it is highly probable that there are numerous of them throughout the universe. Is dark matter real? It is believed that dark matter, a hypothetical type of stuff, accounts for about 85% of all matter in the universe. It is difficult to directly detect because it does not interact with light in the same way as ordinary matter, hence the name dark. Its gravitational pull on observable matter and the way it bends light from far off objects suggest its presence. The scientific community acknowledges the presence of dark matter, although little is known about it and its nature is still unknown. Regarding its potential qualities, scientists have various theories, but none of them have been proven. Another enigma that might be resolved by peering outside the confines of the observable universe is dark matter, which could consist of particles that have not yet been detected. NASA and Exploration's Future The James Webb Space Telescope, JWWST, was built to capture photos and spectra of solar system objects as well as observe the universe's furthest reaching objects. It is anticipated to investigate exoplanet atmospheres and offer new perspectives on the genesis and development of galaxies and stars. The JWST is still in the process of being launched and commissioned, but it is anticipated to significantly advance our knowledge of the cosmos. It might find novel and unexpected phenomena that contradict what we now know about the universe, possibly leading to the discovery of extraterrestrial life earlier than predicted. Meanwhile, in order to gain a deeper understanding of the physics governing the observable universe and to discover more about its composition, structure and history, scientists and researchers are still studying it. Until then, there is both curiosity and anxiety associated with the unknown that lies outside of our observable cosmos.